Reagan coming at you today with another vlog. I decided to do another bookish style vlog because it seemed like you guys really enjoyed my 24 hours of vlogging that I did um, recently. So today I thought I'd take you on another fun bookish excursion. We're going to the bookstore. And before you're like, Reagan, didn't you just post a video talking about how you had to get rid of half your books? The answer still stands, yes. But I was given a gift card to my favorite independent local bookstore for my birthday and I can't spend that in Chicago because it doesn't exist there. So I have to go book shopping. Hello? Literally like the beginning of a 10 step program, 12 step program. I'm making excuses for myself but I'm going shopping for books and you're coming with me. And so is Clay who did not want to be in this video. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I thought I would take you along. We're going to book people. I don't know if I mentioned that, which is the biggest independent bookstore in America. Did you know that, Clay? I did not know that. Yeah, it is. And it's amazing. If you're ever in Austin, you should totally go. It's my favorite place on earth. So we're going to go get some books, get some dinner. But first, I have to pause the Great British Baking, the Great British Baking Show, because that's all I watch nowadays. Literally, it's all I watch. Got to turn this guy off. But how will his eclairs turn out? I guess I'll have to wait till I get back. Stay tuned, Clay. I know you love this show too. What a beautiful day in Austin, Texas. A breezy, wonderful 106 degrees Fahrenheit. We're on our way to the bookstore. Clay, you're <laughs> trying to kill me in the car. Clay's driving, trying to kill me, clearly. He's coming along also because I didn't want to like talk by myself in a bookstore with the camera because I don't even know if that's illegal. If anything, it's definitely weird. This is a weird shadow. Okay, hello. Hey, son. Hey. But yeah, we're just making our way to the best place on earth, book people. I've been here many a time. It's open to like midnight, guys. Like literally, it's the best. There's a coffee shop. You can just sing its praises all day long. But first, gotta get through traffic. Welcome to Austin, Texas. Home of horrible public transit, too hot weather, and traffic. Don't really, move. Really selling it. I know. You're I don't want selling the place. That's kind of the point, right? We don't want anyone else to move here. It's too great. There's not enough room for everyone. Oh yeah. Even though we're leaving. I guess we we have there's two more spots open. Get them before they're gone. We've arrived. It's in the distance. And guess what it's next to? I don't know if I can you can tell. But it's an anthropology. That's right. There is a bookstore and an anthropology door to door. This is basically the greatest place of all time. We've made it in. Just like look at these shelves. This is the classic section. And I'm whispering because this is embarrassing, but also look. And I love they always have these really awesome recommendations for all these books, and they're all handwritten by employees. And it's great. I've gotten a lot of really good recommendations from here. What you got? It just reminds me of me. Because of the ice cream? All we ever wanted was oak. Okay. This is my favorite place. It's the fantasy section. Look, look at all this Patrick Rothfuss. I'm gonna find a few books in here for sure. Just give me a second. <laughs> Teen lit section. There's an event going on, so I have to be quiet. I found two books I'm really excited about. I'll fill you in later. I'm gonna take a look right now. My hands are currently full of books, but they redid the cover Queen's Thief series, and I think I might buy all of them. Let's see if I can control myself. This is also all of the YA fantasy, and there's even two more shelves that way, which is so exciting. There's just so much to pick from. I don't know where to start. They have the new Shadow and Bone cover, and it looks so beautiful. Look at this. Look. Look at all of it. It's all blurry, but just know it's beautiful. I bought this off Amazon, otherwise I would totally get it. This looks so good. My boyfriend is a child. They made a section for me. <laughs> he found the toys, everyone, in the bookstore. I can't bring him anywhere. They're light, okay. Clay's become my book jockey because I was it was getting too cumbersome while I looked for other books. So he's holding them for me. Appreciate you. 
we're leaving. I did some serious damage. I got the big bag. What were you gonna say? Let's book it out of here. Oh my God, kill me. Goodbye book people. I don't know when I'm gonna see you next. Probably not for a long time. The temperature's gone down. 106 to 104. So much better now, wouldn't you say, Clay? For sure. Now that we're in the car, you can better see my haul. You can see it's a sea of paperbacks in here. And I'm so excited about every single one. I feel like I got a pretty dang good mix of things. I will say a lot of what I bought was actually like reprints of old, older fantasy series, like YA fantasy series that I either read a long time ago or meant to read. And then when I tried at the age of like 12, I wasn't a huge fan and I figured it was time to give it another chance. I'll show you some of them now. These will have already all been featured in a book haul by the time this video goes up. So you should already have seen some of these if you've seen that video. It is so bright. I mentioned this in store, but one of the series I got a new cover is the Thief, the Queen's Thief series by Megan Whalen Turner, and that's because she has a whole new book that just came out and inspired by this universe. And I've read this, I really liked it, but I rebought it in the new cover to reread, and I also bought the sequel. Same story with this guy, The Naming by Alison Krogan. This is a book I tried to read when I was like 12 and couldn't really get into it. She just released a new book again in this series, and they all got repackaged. And I love the new covers for both of these series. I think it was just so lucky. I didn't even know it happened, and then I saw it, and I was like, whoa, whoa. Anyway, yeah, I did, I got, all of these books were $100. I had a really gracious gift card. Very grateful for it. And I spent it all, and now, and they're all paperbacks, so they should be light and easy to carry to Chicago. Wouldn't you say, Clay? Not a problem at all, right? You're gonna carry them, right? Yeah. So now we're off to Din Din. I don't know, maybe I'll vlog that too if you guys are interested. And then when we get back, I'll lay out all the books in my bed and show you each one I got so you can kind of see the covers more clearly. But yay, I'm so happy with the books I got. I feel like, like I said, I think I got a good mix of like new releases that have a lot of hype, books I've never heard of, and then old -er fantasy novels uh, in the YA genre at least that maybe are less known just because they're older but have gotten recently repackaged so I again I'm very happy with what I got so yay successful shopping trip I ended up not being able to talk a lot in the store because there was an event going on in the YA section I didn't want to be rude because there was a lady speaking but now we're getting wings because we love wings okay check in later the clip where everyone learns how fat clay and I are <laughs> look how many wings we ordered and we got an appetizer ah Continue the whole night of debauchery, I got a cream puff with ice cream inside of it. Because, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what your heart wants you to do. This great British Bake Off was bound to make a girl hungry. Look at this, and it's pastry week too, to boot. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so this is my haul of books. I got seven books. Six paperbacks, one hardback, and like I said, I'm excited about all of them. Again, I felt like I got some really good variety. This was the book I mentioned in the car. I got The Naming by Alison Grogan, and I got The Thief, which I also mentioned in the car by Megan Wallen Turner. But I also picked up the sequel to The Thief. It's like a four book original series and then there's a new one. So I got The Queen of Atolia, which is the sequel. I just love these new covers. I'm such a huge fan. I also picked up The Darker Shade of Magic, which will be like, Reagan, don't you own that book? The answer is uh, I did. My mom accidentally gave it away. So I got a new copy, not a big deal. Uh, I got this book, which I had never heard of. And it was one of the recommended books at the bookstore and it looks so good. It's like a dark, twisted fairy tale fantasy, which is literally my favorite type of book. I also got this book, which sounds crazy interesting. Again, never heard of it. It is a fantasy Western where the main character is bitten by a vampire and then she joins like a monster killing brigade which is like the texas rangers it's like an alternate historical fantasy with some crazy paranormal elements it just really captured my attention patrick rolfus also gave it five out of five stars on goodreads i also and then lastly i picked up the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue which i've been seeing everywhere on booktube everyone says it's hilarious i've also heard really good things about the audiobook but those are all the books i got and i love all of them Alrighty, guys that is the end of my book come book shopping with me turning to dinner and cream puff eating vlog. I hope you enjoyed here. I haven't even had Millie in this vlog yet. Hope you enjoyed. Millie says hi. Hi Millie. Say hi Millie. <laughs> Say hi. And I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye.